hello all today we are going to learn a concept called multiplexing when the bandwidth of a medium linking two devices is greater than the bandwidth needs of the devices then the link can be shared for transmission how do i define multiplexing it can be defined as a set of techniques that allow simultaneous transmission of multiple signals across a single data link meaning in a multiplex system n lines share the bandwidth of one link you can see in this diagram that n lines are sharing the bandwidth of a single link for transmission now i have n input lines where n inputs are given to a multiplexer where a multiplexer does many to one transmission where it combines the n input line into a single stream and this single stream is fed to a demultiplexer where a demultiplexer will take take back the component transmissions from that single transmission and gives it to the n output lines it does many to one transmission categories of multiplexing multiplexing is of three types fdm frequency division multiplexing wavelength division multiplexing wdm and time division multiplexing tdm fdm and wdm are analog and time division multiplexing is digital what is frequency division multiplexing frequency division multiplexing is an analog technique which combines analog signals meaning we are dividing the bandwidth of the channel based on frequency that is why i call it as frequency division multiplexing when can i apply fdm i can f apply the fdm technique when the bandwidth when the combined bandwidth of the signal to be transmitted is less than or equal to the bandwidth of the link in total which is measured in hertz now you can see the process of fdm where we have n input lines divided into that are being combined into a single transmission where each transmission takes a channel of the link for data transmission and at the demultiplexer it will uh, take out it into multiple lines again as output you can see what is the multiplexing process and the demultiplexing process what happens during the multiplexing process inside the multiplexer these similar signals modulate different frequencies they modulate into different carrier frequencies like f1 f2 and f3 the resulting modulated signals the resulting modulated signals are combined into a single composite signal that is sent over the link so we are combining multiple signals into a single comp composite signal at the multiplexer what happens at the demultiplexer at the demultiplexer as you can see we have filters these fil filters will decompose the multiplexed composite signal into its constituent co constituent component signals and then the demodulator will separate them into their carrier frequencies and passes to the output lines this is how the frequency division modulate uh, multiplexing takes place now coming on to the second type that is wdm wavelength division multiplexing this is also an analog multiplexing technique which combines optical signals when it is op combining optical signals it means that wdm is a technique designed to use high data rate capability of fiber optic cable where in fiber optic cable the data are transmitted as optical signals you can see here in wdm in wavelength division multiplexing you can see that the very narrow bands of light the very narrow bands of light are being combined into combined to make a wider band wider band of light and at the receiver the signals are separated by the demultiplexer into its constituent optical signals the third one is the tdm the time division multiplexing which is a digital multiplexing technique where we combine several low rate 
digital channels into one high rate one. You can see digital data from different sources are combined into one time shared link and here what is the requirement? The requirement is that the data rate capacity of the transmission medium should be much greater than or equal to the data rate required by the sending and receiving devices. So what happens here is you can see multiple devices are connecting to a single shared link where the link is shared based on time. You can see that TDM is a digital process that allows several connections to share the high bandwidth of a link. Each connection occupies a portion of time, a portion of time in the link. You can see the device number one is occupying this portion of time on the to use the link and the second device is using this portion of time to use the link. So this is about your time division multiplexing. Multiplexing where we combine multiple signals into a single one. Thank you.